guys, I was just making a to-do list in my head. I have so much to do today. I have some homework I need to do. I have to do the dishes. I, oh, I promised I'd help my mom with something. Ugh, my day is filling up with things to do. And to be honest, I'm not even really excited about most of them. Do you ever have a day like this? When your day is full of tasks or chores you really don't wanna do, maybe you don't even understand why you have to do them. And it's not like we can choose to just not do these things. No, we have to do these things, but we can choose how we do them. What do I mean by that? Well, we can choose the attitude, the heart we have when we do these things. For instance, when I do dishes, I may not love doing dishes. So I'm gonna turn up some music and I'm gonna sing really loud while I wash those dishes. And I'm going to thank God that I have dishes to eat my food off of. And that's gonna make doing the dishes a little easier. I'm not looking forward to doing homework, especially an assignment I don't understand. So I'm gonna pray first and I'm gonna ask God to help me. And I'm going to ask him to help me do my best and to understand what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna try my hardest and I'm gonna trust that God will get me through it. Today we're talking about submitting to Jesus. What does it mean to submit? Well, submit means to obey with a willing heart and a good attitude. Earlier we heard a story about a time when Jesus went in a garden and he went off to pray and he had taken some of his disciples with him. Jesus was filled with sorrow. He was having a really hard time knowing that he was going to die for sins he didn't commit. And while he was in the garden, he said this. He said, my father, God, if there is any way to do this without doing it this way, let's do it that way. But Lord, let it be the way you want it to be. Jesus knew he had a big job to do. He was going to die for the sins that all humans everywhere had ever committed. And it was going to be a painful experience. But he is asking God, is there any other way we can do this? The important part of his prayer came at the end when he said, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. In other words, he said, Lord, I'll do whatever it is that you think is best. That is the heart of submission. He was obeying God with a willing heart and a good attitude. When he came back to his disciples who he had left asking them to pray for him, he found them asleep. He was like, you guys are as lazy as an old dog by the fire. And what he was saying was, your hearts want to follow God, but your bodies are getting in the way. You need to pray to stay strong. So Jesus left them again and he went off to pray. And again, he prayed, Lord, whatever it is that you think is best, I will do that. He submitted to God. And when he came back, guess what? He found the disciples asleep again. This time he just left them. He went off to pray some more. Lord, whatever you want, let's do this. That is a heart submitted to God. And when he came back to the disciples the last time, he woke them up and said, hey, you wanted to spend the night here? It's not a sleepover, guys. The disciples who were with Jesus didn't do what Jesus wanted them to do. They didn't submit to him. They wanted to sleep. But Jesus submitted to God because he chose to do what God asked him to do with a willing heart and a good attitude. I have to tell you, I don't wanna be like those guys who are with Jesus who had a willing heart, but didn't do what God asked them to do. I wanna be like Jesus, who submitted himself fully to God, who chose to give up his whole life to do it God's way. How about you? What's your heart like? Do you do the things God has asked you to do with a willing heart and a good attitude? What about the things your parents or your teacher have asked you to do? If you obey your mom or your dad with a willing heart and a good attitude, you're obeying God with a willing heart and a good attitude because he has asked you to honor your parents. So let's pray and ask God to help us have a willing heart and a good attitude. God, thank you that you sent Jesus. And Jesus, thank you that you demonstrated submission to God, that you submitted yourself fully because we get the benefit of it. Thank you that you chose to do it God's way, to die on the cross so that our sins could be forgiven. And now we get to be part of your family. Would you help us to submit to God too? In your name, amen. Okay, friends, it's time to pause and pray. I'm gonna put some questions up on the screen and ask you to take a few minutes, pause this video and talk to God. It's time for a heart check. What was the last thing your mom or dad asked you to do? How did you respond? Did you have a willing heart and a good attitude? 
Talk to Jesus about this situation. Ask him to give you a new heart, one that wants to do whatever God asks with a good attitude. Let's memorize God's word together. Philippians 2, 9 says, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Can you say that with me? God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Let's hide some words and see if we can remember them. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Ready to make it harder? God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Hmm, that's not hard enough. Let's hide some more. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Now it's getting tougher. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Let's hide some more. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Ready to make it harder? God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. Let's hide some more. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. All right, I think we almost have it. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. Philippians 2, 9. That's tough. Can you do it without me? Give it a try. Don't forget, we have fun stuff happening throughout the week on our Facebook page. Ask your grown-up to check in.